Please welcome from Chicago, Illinois, Heather Steiger. wonderful stage. Um, I will be even happier if I get through this song without uh, coughing or my voice cracking because I'm just coming out of a cold. But I figured honey's good for the voice so I had a honey lice over there. And... <laughs> but uh, really I am, I am so, so happy to have the opportunity to come back up here. Um, we're going out to the island tomorrow. As this, this and that are, are the highlights of my little trip up here. Um, you have a great, great thing going. Because I, I get the music, but I don't get very much land in Chicago. So. I get plenty of water, though. Maybe not as clean as Lake Superior. Um, anyway, uh, this song, uh, my grandmother is was a, a fairly quiet person she she was more of a listener than a talker um, my grandpa was the talker and she was the crocheter the sewer the woman in the kitchen but she didn't really tell too many stories there were a few that she told over and over like how she'd go up in the silos and jump down and sound safe but um anyway uh, i didn't hear most of her stories until about a year before she passed away um last July, and I had always assumed that she, she lived in Nebraska and Iowa, and then uh, when she was maybe 17 or so, she moved to Chicago, and I always thought that was her own sort of decision, like, I'm going to get out of here and move to the big city, and then uh, over a campfire one night, I found out after all those years um, that she actually moved because her mom told her to, you know? <laughs> her mom said, you know what? You don't want to be here. There's there's nothing really in this town for you, because um, there really wasn't at the time. And so, so she just you know sort of packed up her bags and moved to where I'm living right now. Um, we've worked in the same building, oddly enough. And so that sort of sense of connection um, inspired me to write this song. But uh, her song, this song that comes from the point of view of her mother. Um, what she might have been thinking when she told her daughter to get out of here. So. Say. 